Here, we'll be solving a numerical problem where a small disk of mass m is resting at the top of a hemispherical support of radius r. It slides off frictionlessly due to some small disturbance and it loses contact at some point from the hemisphere. And we have to show that it loses contact at a height h given by 2r upon 3. Let us think this problem through. First, what will be the motion of this disk while it is on the hemisphere? See, it is moving along a hemispherical surface. So naturally, its motion will be circular. Then what happens when it loses the contact? Well, the moment it loses the contact, it is not moving along a circle anymore. Okay, So in that case, the circular motion will be violated. Then think of what makes a body deviate from a circular path. So what actually violates a circular motion? For that, think of what supports circular motion, what causes circular motion. It is centripetal force. So no centripetal force, no circular motion. So centripetal force must be uh, getting inadequate. But then where is the centripetal force? Well, look at the word centripetal towards the center. So any force or any force component towards the center will provide the centripetal force. Then think of that how do we ascertain the contact is lost? Well, any contact causes a contact force called normal reaction. So if this normal reaction between the two bodies becomes zero, that means they have lost contact. And finally, what makes the disk gain speed? Well, it is losing height as it slides. So its potential energy is reducing. That must be getting converted into kinetic energy. Let us start solving this problem by first drawing the free body diagram. A free body diagram isolates the body. So we just consider the disk. We just replace all other bodies with their effect. For example, we will be removing the sphere but replacing it with the force it exerts. That is a normal reaction on the disk. So these are the only two forces acting on the body. Now think of who could be providing the centripetal force. It must be this weight because that can have a component towards the center. So let us resolve it towards the center and tangential, radial and tangential components. So this will be cos theta component and sin theta component. Now part of this cos theta component will be providing the centripetal force and the remaining will be used for balancing this normal reaction. So that is the role played by this mg cos theta. Partly it is centripetal force and partly it is just keeping the disc pressed against the hemisphere. So what happens when the disc loses contact? Well, the, the contact force or the normal reaction becomes zero. And at that point, the entire mg cos theta component will be used as the centripetal force. So we have discussed all the physical uh, interactions involved in this problem. Now we'll start with the calculations. We start by first equating the potential energy lost by the disk to the kinetic energy it gains. The potential energy lost will be mg into the loss of height first it was at a height r and then it is at a height h. So mg into r minus h it will be equal to mv square upon 2. Now this height h can be substituted as r cos theta. You can see this h is related to this r and theta. So we will substitute that. Then centripetal force can be had by moving this r to the right side and moving this 2 on the left side. So we'll be left with mv square by r equal to 2mg 1 minus cos theta. But when the body loses contact, the centripetal force will be given by mg cos theta that we have seen earlier. That normal reaction becomes zero and entire mg cos theta is the centripetal force. So this expression for centripetal force can be equated to mg cos theta. Now something interesting happens. This mg can be cancelled from both sides. Now this is not just a simple mathematical uh, operation. 
but it has a physical meaning. It means the mass is getting squeezed out of our equations. So it is not important how heavy the disk is. So far there is no friction, it will behave the same way. Okay? So all disks will lose the contact at the same theta and then just do the algebra. Okay? Uh, so this h is r cos theta where cos theta is 2 by 3. So h will be 2r upon 3 as required.